Greetings all, Last Art Writer here with part two of Who Are the Death Watch? This time, Origins of the Death Watch. The Death Watch operates under conditions of great secrecy. Its existence is not widely known, nor are its victories widely celebrated. The chapter's origins are even more shrouded in secrecy, for they are born of a solemn pact between the Inquisition and the Adeptus Astarde. Centuries ago, a conclave of Inquisitor Lords, the Apocryphon Conclave of Orphite IV, convened with the sole purpose of formulating an Imperium-wide strategy to combat the many Xenos threats that assailed mankind. The members of this conclave were, in the main, drawn from the ranks of Ordo Xenos, all of whom shared the belief that one day there would come a time when humanity would be consumed by slathering Xenos beasts, or enslaved to creatures of unutterably alien origins. They foresaw an age when every alien life form in the galaxy, and others from beyond it, might rise up, and the age of the Imperium would come to an end. They had no inkling when such a terrible age might come, but they knew with dreadful certainty that it surely would, and they determined that no effort should be spared to avert such an end. The conclave sat for many years and bitter debate raged back and forth between Inquisitor Lords of many different positions. Some believed that every trace of alien life should be purged from the galaxy, whilst a few advocated the formation of alliances with those races that could be tolerated. Some spoke of ancient, godlike beings that have slumbered since before the creation of mankind, awakening to enslave the galaxy, whilst others foresaw that the death would come at the hands of an invasion from other galaxies entirely. While many Inquisitor Lords declared the Conclave itself an admission of defeat for even countenancing that mankind might not prevail against these threats, wiser counsel prevailed, and a strategy was eventually formulated. The Conclave would request an audience with the assembled chapter masters of the Adeptus Astarde and ask them a solemn undertaking. How many chapter masters assembled to hear the words of the conclave is not known. For such an event has only occurred a handful of times in the long history of the Imperium nor were the words of the Inquisitors recorded for posterity. Certainly, enough chapter masters must have answered the call for a quorum of sorts was convened. The conclave presented its prophecy to the chapter masters, evoking the galaxy-wide threat of the ravening Xenos. 
the chapter masters, every one a veteran of a thousand campaigns against the terrors of the void, listened to the Inquisitor's words and withdrew to consider the matter. The results of the chapter master's deliberations were delivered to the conclave at sunrise the next day. Each of the masters and inquisitors undertook a solemn oath together. They would form a new chapter consisting of veteran space marines highly experienced in combating the Xenos. This chapter was dubbed the Death Watch, for it would stand guard against the doom foretold by the Conclave. Thus, to this day, this joint oath still stands. The Battle Brothers of the Death Watch take the war against the alien to the very darkest reaches of the void, bringing to bear such force as no individual Inquisitor could hope to muster. In this mission, the Ordo Xenos and the Death Watch are equals. The Inquisitors rooting out the foes for the Death Watch to eradicate. Whilst neither party is subject to the command of the other, both work in concert towards their common goal, according to those oaths made centuries ago. The two work closely together, ever watchful for that faithful, fateful day when the prophecies of the conclave are realized. There you have it, the origins of the Death Watch. And next time, the organization of the Death Watch. Until then, bye.